Now, did you know, in your lifetime, you will spend one whole year sitting on the toilet? Really? It's amazing. And so's this. An ordinary town with ordinary people. Uh, hang on, who's that? He's a superhero, Zant. Wow! What's his special power? No, wait, let me guess. Hmm, leg warmers. Is it ballet? No, Zant. Ah, a mat. It's yoga. Not exactly. Don't worry, you're about to find out why this man has an amazing body. Oh, I get it. He's an amazingly bad dancer. No, wait for it. <laughs> oh, did he just do what I think he did? He's going to be so embarrassed. Zond, this is Mr. Methane, and he's a super... Well, you get the idea. Trumping is something we all do. But Mr. Methane has mastered the art of controlling it. So he can let one rip as and when he wants to. What I'm doing is I'm expanding the sphincter muscle. That's a muscle in your bum. I'm raising the diaphragm and that draws air in. And then I contract the sphincter muscle and I push it out. He first discovered he could do this amazing trick when he was 15 years old. I have to keep, I suppose you would say, farting fit. Breaking wind is a release of gas, including, you've guessed it, methane, from the air we swallow when we eat and chemical reactions that happen in our guts. And their smell depends on what you've eaten, cauliflower and meat making some of the stinkiest. Obviously, always practice in a well-ventilated room. Now that's amazing. Did you know that although human hair feels soft, in fact, it's one of the strongest fibres on the planet? Really? That's amazing. And so is this. Here's an ordinary town with an ordinary hair salon. And they're pretty busy today. Luckily, this guy doesn't look like he'll take much time. What'll it be today, sir? A no back and sides? Oh, Wait. What? Hold on. What What's this? <laughs> This is Sam Harry Smith. I've no idea how he got his nickname, but he's Britain's hairiest man. Yes, he may be bald up top, but boy, does he make up for it everywhere else. Sam is covered in thick body hair that measures up to 15 centimetres long. He shampoos and conditions his chest to keep it soft and has to use four towels to dry himself after every shower. Whoa! Whoa. Now, we all lose hair, but whereas most of us lose fewer than 100 strands a day, Sam loses up to 300. That's three times more. Well, he's got plenty to spare. Now, that's amazing. Ouch. Now, did you know that your fingernails grow faster than your toenails? One of the reasons is because your hands have better blood circulation. Wow, that's amazing. And so's this. An ordinary day in an ordinary garden. This man's making the most of the good weather. Yep, stripy deck chair, knotted handkerchief and bright blue shoes. Yeah, cool shoes, Chris, but what's so amazing? Just you watch this. Whoa, that is stretchy. Yep, stretchy is right. This is Gary, and he has the world's stretchiest skin. That's a handy trick if you forget your sunglasses. Or that one, if you don't want to be recognised. It doesn't hurt at all. I can just pull it away as many times as I like and uh, just naturally stretches. But don't go trying this yourself. Gary has actually got a rare skin condition that makes his skin this stretchy. The reason why I've got stretchy skin is because I have a lack of collagen. It's also twice as thin as normal skin. Collagen is a type of protein in the skin. It keeps skin flexible but strong. The collagen in Gary's skin doesn't work in the same way as yours, so he can do stuff like this. When I stretch and see people's reactions, it's, it's quite funny, it's quite amazing. It's uh, enabled me to travel the world doing shows all over the place, and uh, I've really had a, a great time doing it. Wow, that's amazing. 
Did you know your eyes can process 36,000 pieces of information every hour? Wow, that's amazing. And so's this. An ordinary high street in an ordinary town full of ordinary people. But one man here has an extraordinary power. Is it the ability to get away with wearing a lilac shirt? No, although he does do that as well. No, his extraordinary power lies behind those sunglasses. Take that! Oh, no. And that! Ah. <laughs> How did he do that? <laughs> oh, are you serious? <laughs> no, I can't. <laughs> Wondering what all the fuss is about? Well, check this out. This is Antonio Popeye Francis. Can't imagine where he got that nickname from, but you may have seen him on Britain's Got Talent. Antonio first discovered he could pop his eyes out when he was seven years old. Combing my hair, I had a big afro. And as I pulled the comb, it got stuck in my hair. And as I pulled it, my left eye just popped out on its own. So how does Antonio's amazing body do this? Behind our eyes lie six muscles controlling the movement of our eyeballs. Antonio has the amazing ability to contract these muscles, pushing his eyeballs out. He can do it up to 200 times without needing a rest, and he reckons they come out a whopping 12.3 millimetres. Now that's amazing. Now, did you know the average person burps 15 times every day? That's nearly five and a half thousand times a year. Wow, that's amazing, and so is this. This is just an ordinary town and looks like an ordinary restaurant, but this is no ordinary man. So, what makes him so special? Is he one of those people who can eat everything off the menu in one sitting? Thank you. No, Chris, but the food has got something to do with it. In fact, this man is hiding an amazing body. Wait for it. <laughs> Sorry, madam. This is Paul Hun, and he holds the world record for the loudest burp. He discovered this extraordinary talent when he was at school. I used to win all the competitions in the playground, um, beat all the other kids. When I broke the world record, I was so proud. I just couldn't believe it. I didn't think that would come out of it. Now <laughs> we all burp, and that's because when we eat and drink, we also swallow air, and it needs to come out. But Paul's burps are something else. So how does he make sure his burps are as impressive as they possibly can be? If I'm uh, burping, if I'm going to do an appearance or a, a record attempt, on the day I make sure I don't eat so I can breathe more air in. When the time comes, I just breathe my air in. I let it settle at the bottom of my stomach. As I feel it rise, I sort of open my throat and just let rip. <laughs> Paul's champion burps can reach up to 109 decibels. Just look at this decibel reader. That's as loud as a car horn or a motorbike. <laughs> nice work, Paul. Now that's amazing. But now, did you know there are over 600 muscles in your body? You use 200 of them to take just one step and virtually all of them to throw a ball. Wow, that's amazing. And so's this. This is South London, a deserted urban landscape and a stage to showcase something spectacular. Fancy a stroll up into the air? There are no wires and this isn't trick photography. It's all skill and some ridiculously impressive muscles. Meet Tim Livewire Sheep. He's the world champion free runner, and he has an amazing body. Tim first started free running when he was 16 years old. Tim is a professional, so don't even think about trying this at home or outside the home or anywhere. Before I start a new run, I'll always go and check every piece of equipment. That's very important, safety first. We'll check every wall that it's grippy, there's no loose bricks. Look, he's like Spider-Man. It's very important to us that we don't damage the environment we go into. And 
Did you know Tim is one of the few free runners in the world able to control a one-handed handstand? So how does Tim's body defy gravity? To raise his entire body weight into the air, it's the massively mighty deltoids in Tim's shoulders. Inside Tim's leg, he has developed stupendously strong quadriceps, the four muscles on the front of your thigh. And his speciality, the human flag. A move which requires crazily powerful abdominal and lateral muscles to raise his legs high in the air. Now that's amazing. Ouch. Now, did you know that the biggest muscle in your body is in your bum? And the smallest is in your ear, and it's thinner than a thread of cotton. Really? That's amazing. And so's this. An ordinary paper boy on an ordinary bike with a bag full of ordinary newspapers. Oh, look, a daffodil. Yeah, that's not very interesting. So this guy likes to cycle. There's nothing amazing about that. Oh, yeah, Zond? Take a look at this. A not very ordinary road and a not very ordinary bike. Whoa! This is Dan Pullen, a junior BMX champion, the national number one. To get to be BMX champion, Dan uses the whole of his amazing body. His brain prepares for the speed and stunts by releasing adrenaline to the muscles so they work for longer. And boy, when you ride a bike like this, you need balance, control and power. Nice wheelie. He has powerful muscles on the front of his thighs that power those accelerations and flex his legs for takeoff and landings. While on the back of his thighs, his hamstrings are working hard to coordinate his knees and hips, keeping him balanced and flexible. And his calf muscles provide power for uphill scrambles. These muscles support his upper leg and flex his feet so he can balance on the pedals. This sport involves a lot of training and a lot of commitment, a lot of gym work with the weights and stuff like that. Wow, Dan has skills. His whole body works together to coordinate control of the bike and power into the jumps and absorb the landings. This week's hero, BMX boy. Now that's amazing. Wow, that's amazing. And so's this. Into a darkened room steps a man, but this is no ordinary man. So what makes him so special? Is it the red hair? No, Chris. Is it the shades? No, Chris. Hmm, is it the sword? Well, almost. In fact, this man is hiding an amazing body. Yes, meet the mighty Gareth, and he has mastered the art of swallowing a sword. Sword swallowing is a skill that takes years of practice and training. So don't ever try this at home, because it would actually kill you. When Gareth swallows his sword, it goes down his throat, all the way into his stomach, narrowly missing his heart and lung. In fact, if he made even one mistake, he'd be dead. And there's even more to this skill than precision. To do this amazing trick, Gareth has to make his body fight its natural desire to reject the sword. A gag reflex at the back of the throat there, that makes you just want to be sick. Yes, I feel that just watching. And it's taken Gareth years to learn how to manoeuvre the sword past the vital organs in his body safely. The hardest bit is relaxing while doing something which is totally unrelaxing. You can say that again. I'm not sure he can with that sword in his mouth. And in case you thought it was all a big trick... It isn't. Now that's amazing. Did you know, every day you breathe in enough air to fill a thousand balloons? Wow, that's amazing, and so is this. An ordinary gym with ordinary weights and ordinary people lifting them. Well, except one person. This man may hold the world record for the most weight squat lifted in 24 hours, but he's also got an even more amazing body skill than that. Um, is that a hot water bottle? Yep, and just wait to see what he can do with it. This is Sean Jones, and he has mastered the unusual art of blowing up hot water bottles until they... Ooh. 
explode. That is one powerful set of lungs. It certainly is. Sean holds the world record for the fastest hot water bottle burst. But why? Why does he do it? I first started to do the hot water bottle burst and as a training program to enhance my training power. Blowing up a thick plastic hot water bottle is 50 times more difficult than blowing up a party balloon. So, how does Sean's amazing body do this? Well, although he makes it look easy, Sean has the incredible ability to expand his lungs more than the average person, filling them with loads more air. And then, the super strong muscles in his chest, diaphragm and tummy means that he can blow out air with so much force, he can do this. And it's taken years of training to get this quick at it. Usually we train twice a day, morning and night, and we usually do about three or four hard water bottles per day. People who have a large lung capacity, like Sean, can get more oxygen into their body faster. But don't try this yourself. It's best left to the experts. Now that's amazing. Ouch. Now, did you know you have 10,000 taste buds on your tongue? And inside each one are up to 100 cells, all helping you taste everything from the sweetest cake to the spiciest chilli. That's amazing. And so's this. An ordinary town with ordinary people. Well, except for one person. But what makes him so special? Can I have an ice cream, please? A lot of people like ice cream, Chris. Oh, is it that he's gone for boring vanilla when he could have had mint chocolate chip? Oh, look forward to this all day. Nope. In fact, this man is hiding an amazing body. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Make it stop! Make it stop! This is Stephen Taylor, and he has the world's longest tongue. How long, you ask? Well, I was just about to. Well, his record-breaking tongue measures a massive 10 centimetres from the tip to his lip. That's as long as a sausage. So what's it like having such a long tongue? The advantages of having a long tongue are, well, I can eat a yoghurt without using a spoon. So it saves on the washing up. So I think you may still have to wash that beard. But although Lizard Tongue Stephen could probably lap up an ice cream quicker than you, don't worry, you're not missing out when it comes to flavour. Because taste buds don't just live on your tongue. In fact, they're also at the back of your throat. Kilo for kilo, the tongue is the strongest muscle in the human body, which makes Stephen's liquor the heavyweight champion of the tongue world. Mm. Now that's amazing. 